YouTube family and welcome back to a new video! We're in my kitchen! Uh, you always ask so much about food, so in today's video I was thinking, let's do a video of what's in my fridge. What do you need to grow muscles? <laughs> no, but we always like our uh, standards, standard products that we always have in the fridge um, and um, how we prepare a week. Can you say that? Yeah. yeah? Yeah? Fun idea! Let's do it! I actually wish that I had like a double fridge, you know, opening up like they do in America. Like this is my crib. But this, this is my fridge. And, uh, okay, so we're gonna start from the top. Okay, starting from the top. What we always, always have at home. You will never like open this fridge and not see what's on the top shelf. So I'm going to take both one of Robin's and one of mine. So this product is uh, called in Sweden, we call it Quark. And this is a low fat uh, yogurt that is a little bit thicker. And I, I know they have one similar in the US and that is called Carb Monster. Oh, every time I'm in the US, I buy so much of the carb monster so this is like the same uh, but it is a low fat yogurt a little thicker mater uh, material <laughs> a little <laughs> thicker and uh, it has a lot of protein in it so 11 uh, percent of protein in each of these and also like uh, 0 0.20 0.20 0 0.20 0 0.2 uh, percent of fat so this is something that we always have at home because it's really easy to just you know, take a bowl, mix a little bit of quark, and then add um, cereals or um, muesli or uh, fruits and whatever you like on top. And it is a really good um, go-to quick snack. So Robin's? The big one. The big one. Shocked. Shocked! And then my one. My one. My. We also used to have like cut and, cut and cheese. That cut is. cheese. Cut. I did it. Cottage. Cottage. Why, why, why do I say cotton? Cotton that's, that's is... Uh, that's boom Yeah. That's, yes, it is. <laughs> your sweater is cotton. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But Robin used to have um, a cottage, cottage cheese. That's hard. That's really hard to say. He used to have this. I don't eat that as much now. I, I have my, my per periods with that one. Uh, but we also need to... It's getting mad. <laughs> have it open for too long. And then we have a lot of eggs. Let me put this one on the table so you can see. We all know what eggs it's good for. Really good to have like boiled eggs with you. Uh, when, when we're traveling with Gymshark, uh, the other athletes are like, always make fun of me because I always have <laughs> eggs with me when I'm traveling. <laughs> boiled eggs, really good. And then we have, um, what is the Collins? Our fridge is actually more fun now when Colin is in the house. But yeah, I normally never have butter at home, but now I do when Colin uh, eats uh, sandwiches with butter. And uh, what is a uh, liver pasta? Uh, like a liver patty. No, I don't know. Uh, that sounds really nasty. But this is actually really uh, rich in iron. Yeah. So for him to eat this, it's really, really good. So that's why we have it. And sometimes Ari also get a little piece, uh, but that's mostly this one is for Colin. Uh, butter and bread, we all know. You know that, I'm not even gonna go there because that is a weak uh, spot for me <laughs> when I have butter and bread really hard to handle. Uh, then we have our, or should I take these first? These are also, um, I don't drink so much milk, but we have milk because when I drink coffee, I need milk. And I normally have this one, which is uh, oat milk. And then we have this one because that is for Colin as well. I'm gonna do a little Colin uh, section. section. This is Colin, this is, this is us. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we have what is our like stash with food that we always, Reload. What we always have at home 
now we actually don't have so much but i'm just gonna take it for what it is today i haven't prepared anything and uh, i um, asked robin to get out of the kitchen to me he hasn't prepared anything something that's also always in our fridge is some kind of prepared food so we always have at least one of these full with rice full with rice because me and robin it's always something that is happening in our lives so we need prepared food and something that is ready that you can just put in the microwave and warm it and then eat so what we have so far is rice we have um, salmon that Robin prepared yesterday and that we ate yesterday. So we always do more because then we have until the next day. And then broccoli, boiled broccoli. And we have what is a little bit of leftovers of my uh, kebab chicken that I also used to have. And then we have minced, minch, minch. Minced? Minced. Crap. Minced. And this is Robin's. I don't eat meat, so this is Robin's. Normally, we eat mostly fish and chicken. That's the main um, protein, source. protein sources that we uh, normally eat. And we also used to have a lot of um, like boiled um, sweet potato. We ate the, la the last we had yesterday, so Robin is going to prepare some more later on today. And that is, yeah, we always have prepared food. So without prepared food, I would never been able to maintain my um, like the consistency during my my meals and I eat five times a day so I need to plan everything uh, and Robin is my rock when it comes to food because he's always preparing food and he's always uh, making sure that I have food uh, which I am so so grateful for uh, so yeah um, meal prep boxes will always be in our fridge as well what do we have more? We have pancakes for Colin. I do pancakes for Colin because he loves pancakes. Uh, I always burn them because <laughs> so I always need to throw some away. And then we have also, uh, I don't really know, <laughs> but I think it's like a sausage together with rice, together with some uh, uh, broccoli and everything is just mixed together. So this is Colin's. <laughs> it doesn't look so tasty, but he likes it. So. Yes, pancakes. And then we have cheeks and this is like a, also low fat uh, cheese that we used to have when Robin is doing like omelettes or something like that he used these or when I want to have a little bit extra fat on my um, if I do the rice and I do the chicken I want some extra fat on it on that so I'm using these yeah, and that is Morgan cheese <laughs> how do you say that? Low fat. Well, yeah. Skin. Skinny cheese. Skinny cheese. <laughs> and then we have feta cheese, which I love. I love feta. Yeah, yeah. It's it's really tasty. Feta. Feta. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice to have like uh, broccolis, uh, broccoli, uh, and then I have some feta, and then I have some red onion, and I mix that together. Really tasty, and it becomes like the rice and uh, chicken that I normally eat, or if I have uh, fish. It's really nice to have like a, you know, a salad to that. I can, I can honestly say that I can never eat, Robin is like, he can eat potatoes and some kind of protein. That's it. I need to have some kind of green on my, on my plate. That's a must for me. And if I don't, I feel sad. <laughs> I like to have some kind of green. I don't know why. We start. This will stop working after I'm done. And then we have a, uh, also what is a sausage, which is also Collins um, for him to eat. He is really, really hard to cook food for now because his appetite is like this because of his, his teeth that is growing. So that can make their appetite go like this. Don't ask, I don't know. Uh, so I'm just now trying to make any meal that he likes and if he if he does I make a lot of it until he doesn't want it anymore <laughs> so I'm cooking food for him every single day and Robin as well so we also have what is turkey slices this we always have this because it's really easy to just take one or two slices of this and then you have some cottage cheese 
and then you have some crisp bread and you have yourself a really good snack. So the products that you see here is like it's no it's not fancy and it's not anything anything special, but it's staples for us in this household uh, because we want it as easy as possible uh, something that is working for us in a hectic lifestyle um, and then we have some what is Robin's uh, sausages that he has started to eat I don't know but it is actually I can do I can I can actually say this because this sausage is actually made from one of mine and Robin's friends that is really, because sausages overall has a lot of fat, but he made one with less fat and more protein. So Robin loves these. I think you can find them at Ica Maxi. And this is not a sponsored sausage. Uh, <laughs> it's, not, it, it's not a sponsored uh, sausage, sausage video. It's just simply our friend that has worked his, ha his ass off for these sausages and they came out really really good and they are really simple to just you know fry what do we have more i think i can honestly say that these had have been in my fridge for yeah maybe six months i don't know something like that but these never goes out of uh, okay this one did actually <laughs> <laughs> uh they all did but this month so I'm gonna, gonna place them there, I'm gonna throw them away. But normally, this is, uh, how do you say chic after the again? Uh, oh crap, I know that. Uh, 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 chickpeas, chick, chick. Chickpeas. Chickpeas, chickpeas? Chickpeas. Yeah, something like that. I use this to make hummus. Uh, and if you wanna make a really good hummus, we have a really good recipe in the own new app, just saying. What do we have more? Okay, so we have this. Mmm, do you want to see what this is, what's in this? Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> I can't, I, I'm, I'm really afraid to drop it on the, and also on my, on my sweater. What's that? That's Ari's. <laughs> this is Ari's uh, meatballs that he, uh, that we mix with his food. It's Robin. Robin wants Ari to have like a luxury meal every single day, so he buys this. Because it's, you know, yeah, yeah, but he lo loves it, so I'm just gonna let him have that. What do we have more? We all know this. We all know the ketchup and what it does for me, how much I love it. I have ketchup on, on any, everything that I eat. For those who know, you know. And I buy this because it's um, no sugar in it. It's really yummy. This one is an important one in my fridge. I'm just actually gonna take a little bit now because I didn't today. This is a multivitamin uh, drink that me and Robin takes every single day. Mm. It doesn't taste very good, but it has everything that I need. It's like 12 vitamins and six minerals and magnesium. And this is for an active person. This is not sponsored either, but if you're interested, this is the one, and um, yeah, it's a good one. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna place it there. And my kitchen. I don't think we have so much left here though. Um, okay, I almost forgot the <laughs> most important one. Um, I can easily say that I can drink one whole bottle during one day. Not a problem. But I have, um, made some boundaries for myself. Uh, I can't drink anything until, uh, this is actually a boundary that I have had for uh, a long time now, uh, because I realized that I have a, <laughs> a Pepsi problem. <laughs> Can you say that? <laughs> um, so I have a boundary. I can't eat, uh, drink any Pepsi until uh, after five, four or five in the afternoon. And I always drink a lot of water during the day and then I can treat myself with Pepsi. Yeah. And this is also helping me so much when I get that sweet tooth that will not lay off me. I take a big glass of Pepsi Max. So this is always in our fridge. And we have like, I think we have seven more downstairs. I love Pepsi. It's 
sponsored. Uh, then we have this one. Fitness. No, <laughs> what are we celebrating? Um, you know, sometimes I can just celebrate um, life. Life. And uh, you know, when me and Robin just have a chill uh, Friday afternoon or evening, evening most of evening, or uh, if we're out with uh, some of our, in, not out, if we are at our friend's house or if they're here, we can take a glass of um, champagne. Really nice. This is something that I, uh, that comes with age. Not something I did before, but something I can really enjoy one glass sometimes, you know, here and there. Weekends. We ate some uh, um, corn. tacos yeah. just uh, a few days ago. So we have corn. And uh, Colin really likes corn. So this I'm gonna place that for Colin. And then we have mustard. Mustard. When I was pregnant, I had the biggest uh, obsession of must, must, mustard. I don't know why, but I just wanted to have it on in everything that I ate. This is not a, a typical, I think this is more Swedish, but this one. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. This one is better. Uh, and if you care about, you know, what's in ketchup or what's in mustard, this one uh, is actually really good in, uh, how do you say, in the whole technique? In the nutrition value. In the nutrition value. This one is better. And I really like this one. So we have one of those, or two, two different ones. And then we have some um, yeah, butter that we, this is also for calling, that we use when we are um, cooking his food or when Robin is doing his food, or for us, yeah. And then we have some Dolmio sauce, which is also Colin. He likes when we mix that up, I don't know. And then we have some really old, uh, uh, how do you say marmalade? 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 Uh, marmalade? Marmalade! <laughs> Mer mermaid. <laughs> mermaid! Mermaid! <laughs> we have some mermaid here. Fig marmalade. Anyway, we have this, and this is a, a marmalade that you used to have when you eat like uh, uh, chicks, kicks, chicks. Crap, this is hard, harder than I thought. Uh, when you eat some kind of crackers, chick, crackers with a little bit of a uh, you know a cheese, uh, luxury cheese, and then you can have some on top. I don't know how long this has been in my fridge. Uh, but I think it's starting to <laughs> rot in there. I don't know. I'm probably gonna throw that out. And then we also have some uh, low calorie uh, jam. This is probably also kind of old. I can't remember when I ate that last. Is it? Is it a little bit of a, a little bit embarrassing that I have stuff in my fridge that I don't no, know no, what no. it is? <laughs> Everybody does. Everybody does. And then we have taco. Mm. Sauce. Taco sauce. Also, I don't know why Robin put this in the fridge because it's empty. I'm gonna let him have that one. This one. I've showed you this before, but this one is a goldie. This one is a classic sauce. Uh, we buy it here in Sweden, but as it isn't, um, I don't think this is a Swedish brand. This one is perfect when you want to spice up your uh, weekly meals. Uh, it doesn't contain anything. Uh, how do you say uh, nutrition, uh, what was it? Value. Value. Nutrition wa value is like zero, 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 zero. It has like three calories in it. So this one is really good if you want to keep the calories down, but you still want to have a sauce. That one is my fave. Spicy garlic. And you can probably Google classic sauce and you will have that one. Then we have something that is really Swedish. This is Kalle's caviar. No. This one. Yeah. I've seen so many people from uh, <laughs> uh, US or other countries trying out this one uh, and uh, they, uh, yeah, they want to puke, like seriously want to just puke all over, um, all over it. But this is a really, uh, like a Swedish, uh, how do you say it, like caviar? Yeah, caviar. And we have that on... Uh, Sandwiches together with eggs and it's so oh good. Like this is a treat for me, honestly. I see this as a treat. 
um, and we used to eat that like when we have uh, Saturday breakfasts and stuff like that. It's really good, really good. Uh, I don't really know. This is when Robin cooks food. So this is some kind of uh, uh, marinade that he used. And then we have our sauces that we uh, eat on the weekends, which is a bayonet, bayonet sauce. <laughs> bayonet sauce. <laughs> but it's a dragon and parsley uh, taste uh, like, it is a really good one. And we used to have this one when we eat some kind of, uh, when we have a barbecue or something like that. And then we have a green one, which if, which is avocado and lime. These two are uh, faves when, uh, you know, during the weekends. And then we also have a shelf with this lays really close to my heart. I always have to have some kind of chocolate. Um, but I'm actually honestly really good at keeping it out during the like the weekdays. But as soon as it gets Friday or Saturday, I am not. Uh, I'm really quick on opening this one. So we have this and we have, I don't know what this is. This is something that Robin tried, yeah, last time. But this, can you comment below if you uh, have your chocolate in your fridge or not? I always do because I like it crispy. I don't like it when it is warm and all gooey. I like it crisp and when it's like crunch. Avocados is a must in our house and uh, a really good um, um, fat source. Fat source and a really good product to have at home when you want to have all once again like a, a quick snack. You can just take a crisp bread or a bread, uh, have some avocado slices on it, some cottage cheese, or if you just want avocado and like a um, salmon slice or something like that, you have a really good snack. So, uh, so we try to have groceries that you can easily use and. Uh, Obviously, you can you can use whatever and mix whatever together, but this is just how we are thinking at home. I always have broccoli at home, as you can see. Boiled broccoli is a really important um, product, um, grocery for me. So what we try to think of, uh, and something that is like a statement for us, is that we try to have the food as less less processed as possible. And what do I mean by that is that we try to have like the broccoli as uh, close to the source as it is. We try to not buy the food that is already done. Obviously you can buy whatever uh, that is already ready for you to eat, but we like to um, make the food that we eat from the source. You know, yeah? yeah? Makes sense. Makes sense? Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Okay, let's move on. Uh, we have in the, in the top drawer here one more avocado. Uh, Colin also really loves avocado now, which I'm really happy about uh, because, like, that is a really good source and something that can make him uh, feel full longer. So I try to do like sandwiches with that on, but you know, he's a kid, so unfortunately he's just like squeezing it and it's all over. <laughs> and then we have some uh, baby spinach which we used to have when we, when I do like a, a avocado, um, when I do a guacamole, I used to have this one in. And then we have uh, some, we always have a fruit at home as well. Uh, bananas, we obviously not, don't have it in the fridge, we have it in the cabinet, but we always have some kind of fruit at home because it's also really simple to just take an apple or uh, a banana when you're on the run or when you have to go somewhere. Um, tomatoes. <laughs> we only have one now, but we used to have tomatoes and um, cucumber at home as well. And then we have some just regular potatoes. Also a source that we always have at home because potatoes can be in the fridge for so long without getting bad. Did you say that? Yeah. And then we have sweet potato. We always have sweet potato, we have this one as well. And uh, then we have some red pepper and some red onion. And that is for me because I love to have, as I said, some kind of salad to my food. That was good because I needed to clean the fridge. 
a long time ago. Along with what is in my fridge, this is like the cabinet that we have as well. I uh, haven't cleaned this one uh, in a while, so it's a little bit messy. But what we always have also is oats. Oats is uh, probably the, the most important uh, source that we have at home because you can always make a bowl of uh, oatmeal and both for like lunch or snack or whatever this is and it's really cheap as well so we always buy that so we have we have this one we have two when we have a half one so we have a lot of oats and then we have the cereals that i told you about in my instagram uh, stories the cereals i don't know what it is with these but i love them and i've started to eat a lot of them and then we have always as well i'm using always a lot in this video but yeah this it's always in our cabin or in our house uh, and that is rice also a source that we use every single day and then we have my crisp bread that I use important for me we always have peanut butter at home also a really good uh, fat source we have banana a lot of it because both me and Robin and Colin eat that uh, yeah, a lot of rice there, a lot of a little bit of here and there up there, but these two are the most important ones. And nuts, important as well. So when we grocery shop, we also stash in the fridge. Uh, we always buy salmon so we have prepared. We have uh, minced, minced, minced chicken because I, I don't eat the, the regular ones. We have this one in chicken. Minch. We have this one is actually one of my faves. This is a product that both me and Robin love. It actually has a really good nutritional value, so it's absolutely okay to eat this during uh, the weekdays as well. We buy that, that one, and then we have, as I told you, the kebab chicken. We have that in a really good, really big package, like two kilos or something. And then Robin buys a lot of chicken, which is this one. And we have, I don't know how many packages, but we used to have, like one of those is almost two kilos as well. So when he barbecues, he does uh, two kilos of chicken, and then we have for a whole week. And last one is, Raspberries and blueberries always in our fridge. Freezer. Freezer crap. Freezer. Because that I eat that every single day. Before we end the video, I always get questions of what I'm wearing. And today is a really uh, you know, I, I wear my gym shark even though I'm not gonna go train. I wear them even so. So you all know this one, this is the new camo and uh, when you see this video we are in the month of May and this is just an oversized um, Gymshark sweater, you know I like it oversized you'll have my link in the description below if you want to shop anything from Gymshark I really hope that you like this uh, as you always ask me about food I was thinking instead of cooking anything and instead of like going grocery shopping because that is kind of hard to do in Swedish in Sweden because they always when we come in there with the camera they don't like it so I was thinking let's just show you a video of what is always in our fridge and maybe that can help you get any ideas of how to plan your week ahead it's always planning is everything when it comes to consistency you know that and I always plan my food Thank you so much for watching today's video. I love you guys. Have a great day. See you.